everyone. I'm Jonathan, a student reporter with Invention Convention Worldwide, and I'm here with Gianna. Hello, how are you doing? Good. Good, good. <laughs> Could you tell me a little bit about your invention? Um, so this year I invented Salus. It is a mold detection, removal, and prevention device. Um, it's an easy-use kit, and it's non-toxic. Awesome. So mm -hmm. can you tell me a little bit about how it works? Um, there's a few different parts to it. So there's three different parts. The main part is the um, detection device. It detects the humidity and the temperature inside of your home so it can predict where the mold will be. And it also has a spore swab so it can actually detect the mold directly. Um, the other parts are the uh, non-toxic spray. So you can spray it to remove and prevent the mold for future use. And there's a Salus app where you can log everything in the app about your home and it can help um, prevent things based on the weather and your location of whether or not there's going to be mold in the future. Great. Mm -hmm. So what was your inspiration for this? Um, I've always been severely allergic to mold, um, but my mom actually got sick because of the mold and we didn't figure it out later because the mold testing strips that we use from a lab failed. Um, so I wanted to create a fast and affordable way to test the mold and remove it. Right, right. And I love that. It's something so personal to you and so mm -hmm. you're able to go and make a solution for it through inventing. Mm -hmm. uh, were there any roadblocks you. that you came up against? Um, I think I almost always have a problem with prototyping. So there was a lot of prototyping and I definitely got a little discouraged because it was hard. This is probably the hardest invention to create um, and actually make it work. Um, but it was worth it in the end. Great. I love that. Wow. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, whenever it was hard, how do you keep going? Um, most of the time there's people supporting me. So my mom is one of my biggest supporters and she just helped pushing me forwards. And also I just remember how fun it is in the end because, you know, you always have your breakthrough moment and you're able to create everything. For sure. I mean, how important is it to have a support system whenever you're inventing? It's it's really important. I don't think that I'd continue doing invent, invention convention for nine years if I didn't have my mom helping me. Wow. So That's awesome. Mm -hmm. You just said nine years. That's yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, what keeps bringing you back? Um, I just love inventing. It's I always have a new idea every year, and I have a ton of other new ideas. It's my last year coming to Nationals, but I hope that I can do something kind of like this or help out in the program in the future. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. That's incredible. How would you say inventing and just invention convention has changed your life in general? Um, I think it's definitely helped me build a lot of skill sets that I never would have thought of. Um, so like coding and just basically talking to people, I would have been way too scared to do this if I, um, if you asked me to do an interview like nine years ago. Um, but now I feel a lot more confident and I can go out and experience STEM opportunities and things. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. So would you say that Invention Convention has also like helped you shape what you want to do in the future as well? It definitely has. Um, I think before this I wanted to be an artist and now I'm going into engineering. So <laughs> there's definitely a big difference. Um, but it, I, it helped me find something that I love for sure. Awesome. Awesome. So you started a long time ago, but say somebody, maybe they're in high school, but they've never invented anything before, but they want mm -hmm. to get into it. They might be a little bit scared. What advice would you give them? Um, I tell them not to be scared and just jump in, especially with a program like Invention Convention. Everyone's so um, supportive and it's always it's just fun. It's something fun to experience and um, grow in. Absolutely. And so you've been doing it for nine years. Mm -hmm. How many times have you been to nationals? Um, I've gone to nationals every year. So Wow. And so, <laughs> I mean, what's it like to be back? <laughs> um, it's definitely different from the first year. I know the first year it was in um, Washington, D.C. and then... They transferred to Dearborn, but I think it's a lot more fun here with the museum and everything. It's just fun. Great, great. Mm -hmm. And I mean, just year after year, meeting new people, seeing all these inventions. How does it feel to just talk with other student inventors? It's great. It's a lot of, it's a part that I really like about Invention Convention because it's hard. I come from a school that is mainly into sports and not really STEM. So this is kind of a way for me to connect with other people and learn from them. So would you say that you've made friends that you'll be friends with for a lifetime? Yeah, convention? I think so. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Well, thank you so much, Gianna, for joining us. And on behalf of Invention Convention Worldwide, thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.